Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript will be used to create strict comparison operator. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. JavaScript makes it easy to use the strict comparison operators. Use strict comparison operators to compare two values of the same type, which can be numbers or strings. So as you can see here, if you use only one equal sign, all you're doing is you're setting the left operand to the same value on the right. So basically you're making this value, num1, the same as num2. Now if you use three or triple equality symbols, what you're going to do is you're going to compare them to see, for, first of all, if num1 is the same as num2, then what you're going to do, you're also going to compare the type. So for example, these are numbers here, so if if these are both numeric, then it will be true if the values are the same. Now, if this was, uh, uh, you see an example, if this was a string and this was a number, if you only had two, they would be equal because that one is just, a, it's a loose type of a check. This one is very strict. That's why it's called strict up here, comparison. And the same thing when you use the not equals, that's the this symbol here, um, if you only had one, then it would it would not match. But I'm saying that it also it's not just not the equal value, but also not equal the type. So if, uh, once again, if this is a string and this is a type, uh, for the strict equality or inequality operator to work, this has to be true here. And as we can see here, we have. Um, the code snippet so you can just expand to get the code snippet by the time uh, we finish the tutorial this will be working properly okay so let's begin the tutorial and just like that you can see the screenshots are now here you can see the screenshot of all the code we're using today this is the, will be the output and this is the video you're watching right now uh, just before I forget is that when you use JavaScript, it runs in a web browser for client-side interactive or automated web applications. Server-side embedded platforms allow JavaScript applications to run outside a web browser. So let's hop over to a jumboshop.com here, clear this. I'm going back to the comparison operators, but this one is a strict uh, comparison operator. So what I'll do is I'll copy this, paste it there. And then let's create four variables. The first variable is just going to be a number. Uh, the second variable will also be a number. Then I'll create some string variables. I'll make them numeric strings just to make the comparison easier to understand. Then we'll start off with the equality operators. So, so do num1 equals num2. So this is this is for equality. Then we'll also compare it to the string. This is also an equality. Here we'll comp num2 to string2. So that will be equality. Now we can start the three of them to num two. So this one is the strict equality. Compared to the string, oops.
and we'll take num2 to string 2 so this one is also a strict equality now we're going to try the in equality operators Equality again. Now we will do the strict version of the inequality. I will compile this. I see. Oh, this one here. And as you see, this is the output. So, one more time. So, what happens here is we compare the not just the values but also the types. So if you see in this particular case, these types are different. So that's why well, I'm able to get true for these three here because the types are different. This one here is very simply, this, these types are the same, so these are numeric. So it's false because num1 is a different value to uh, num2. However, yes. So they can go back to the article and as I've already shown you this is the expected uh, input and expected output this is a video I uh, explained that JavaScript is open source so because it follows the MScript standard and W3 software license and allows commercial use modification distribution allows making derivatives proprietary if you want to learn JavaScript at your own pace 24-7 anywhere anytime all you need is a web browser you visit ojumboshop.com and i'm giving you 20 percent off using the coupon code school until the end of 2024 with this you until december 31st at just before midnight you can sign up and you'll be able to use uh interact with the course anytime you want remember there are also other courses i'll explain that in a second uh, if you prefer just the ebook, the ebook is not going to come with JavaScript or a text editor or an IDE, unlike the uh, unlike the course. You can list on Amazon. You search for Edward Jumbo. The links are in the description. And of course, if you're looking at this article, which is a Jumbo shop, sorry, or jumbo.com slash JavaScript hyphen script hyphen comparison hyphen operators. Under references, you can see here this is the learning JavaScript course on ojumboshop.com. There's a learning JavaScript ebook on Amazon, and they also have other courses and ebooks. The ebooks on Amazon, the courses on ojumboshop.com. If you want any help with uh, custom tutorials for any programming language, or if you want to create applications for mobile, web, desktop, 
games, uh, websites, uh, in interactions, integrations, shipping, payment processors. Just let me know. I can provide you a free quote at ojumboservices.com. Thank you.